The Perseids are coming. They sound a bit like a rock band, and they are in a way, well, the rock part at least. KLTV7's Jamie Boyum heads to Tyler Junior College to find out the best time to watch the Perseid meteor shower coming to a sky near you this weekend. TJC Earth and Space Science Director Bo Hartwig can do some amazing things at the Hudnall Planetarium. He can show us a glimpse of the future sky when the Perseids will peak. They usually tend to appear sometime uh, late July through August, uh, but this year they are, what we say, peaking uh, this weekend, Saturday night, kind of into Sunday morning. So yes, it's an all-nighter, or set the clock kind of event. Bo says you could see 100 meteors per hour. That's MPH, BTW, which translates to... A little bit more than one a minute. Uh, it could possibly be even more than that with certain outbursts. Uh, NASA and other astronomers are maybe anticipating there could be up to 200 uh, meteors per hour uh, at certain times. Bo says all those shooting stars are debris from the Swift-Tuttle Comet. The debris is what's left from when the comet last passed Earth in 1992. And its next close approach isn't going to be for more than about 100 years. So most of us will have to settle for seeing the comet debris, and some of it doesn't and burn up in the atmosphere. Very big chunks will sometimes hit the ground, and that's when it will become a meteorite. Mostly it'll be meteors that burn up or skip off the atmosphere. But why are they called Perseids? Because it looks like the, the meteors are emanating from the constellation of Perseus. But Perseus is not hurling rocks at us. He's kind of old for that, I think. Bo says it should be a pretty good show. Last year during the Perseids meteor shower happened to correspond with the full moon, so that kind of drowned out a bit of the uh, the light from the, these meteors, but this year we should get a nice, clear, dark sky. If the clouds cooperate, of course. He says the moon will just be coming out of the new moon phase, so less light in the sky. And keep in mind that the streaking will not be as frequent as the show Bo is putting on in the dome. We've got it set up to see about 100,000 per hour. That'd be 100 thousand mph. Somebody get a ticket for that for sure. Jamie Boyum, KLTV 7 News. Thank you, Jamie. Hartwig says the best viewing will be toward the northeast sky from 2 a.m. to sunrise Sunday morning, although he points out that the meteors will likely